Also tonight, a community in New Braunfels mourns a bright young life cut short too soon. 17 year old Conrad Kuntz, a star athlete and a senior at New Braunfels High School, was murdered over the weekend. Eyewitness News reporter Andrea Martinez joins us live from where friends and family honored Conrad's memory tonight. That vigil just wrapped up here moments ago. There were hundreds of people here, not a dry eye in the crowd. We are at the New Braunfels City Tube Shoot where the teen worked as a lifeguard. Again, hundreds of people here. They planted a tree in his honor. It's behind me and park leaders say this tree will honor his memory and his service to the park for many years to come. He is in a better place, but we will love him forever. A sea of orange. Conrad Kuntz's favorite color covered the place where the 17 year old spent most of his summer days. He was a swimmer and on his way to becoming team captain. Conrad, he always brought that energy. You know, he made us, even when we were tired and sore and we had a meet the next day, he always made us want to get up. And he was just that motivation for us to just keep going. Balloons released in his memory and a tree planted that will forever sit over a lake he once loved so much and where he worked as a lifeguard. As the balloon rose, I thought I was getting closer to him. Friends wrote notes of their fondest memories with Conrad. Many were recent as his death came unexpectedly. It amazes me that some, I don't know, that someone that could do this like a life, someone's like son and friend and it, it shocks me that like a world like this. The teen was allegedly shot and killed by a 15 and 16 year old over the weekend. I know he's he's like everyone's guardian angel now. He's watching over us. According to New Braunfels police, those two teens are now in custody. One of them was just arrested and charged this morning. Now, while we don't have many details surrounding his death, what we do know is that his life was full of joy, happiness, and of course, people who loved him very dearly. His funeral will be held tomorrow. Reporting live in New Braunfels, I'm Andrea Martinez for Ken's Five. Back to you. All right, thank you, Andrea. And another.